friends, this is Survival Doc with part two of my video on Jerusalem artichokes. Here we are a few months later. It is now middle of November. And as you can see, the artichoke plants have died off. It is time to harvest the roots. All you have to do is just dig up or pull up the plants. Now you don't have to plant these each year because there will be enough of these tubers left in the ground to grow another crop for next year. When you first plant these though, all you have to do is just buy the tubers from the grocery store like I buy them from Whole Foods Market because there I know they haven't been sprayed to keep them from sprouting. And when you buy it from the grocery store you find something like this, only cleaned up a little better. And all you have to do is just break off a little piece like that and just plant that in the ground and uh, just plant that in the ground and it will sprout and grow into a new plant and all you have to do is just uh, wash these clean them up a little bit with a potato scrubbing brush and uh, I like to slice them up eat them raw I put them in uh, salads and you can also cook it uh, in numerous ways you can cook them uh, pretty much like you would cook a potato see there are numerous little numerous little tubers like this that will still be in the ground you won't be able to dig them all out and uh, these will grow into new plants next year so you don't have to plant this uh, plant every year it'll keep coming back each year This is just a small part of what I have in the ground here. We have more than we could use. There's still lots more in the ground that I haven't dug out. Over here, I have the Jerusalem artichokes that I planted in a flower pot. As you can see, they don't grow as large or as uh, abundantly in a flower pot as they do in the ground. But for those li living in an apartment, you can still grow plenty of Jeros Jerusalem artichokes on your porch or patio.
So you're peeling those? Is that what your recipe says to do? Peel them? Right. What's oh. Being? oh. <laughs> Sun chokes? Potatoes. a casserole with potatoes and sunchucks? Yes. Okay, we oil the pan here, salted the potatoes, and added thyme, made a layer of potatoes, and we'll make another layer of artichokes. And right now we're working on the sauce, which is uh, Sauce is chicken broth. Okay, for the sauce, to the chicken broth, you add a cup of whooping cream. Just the cream. Add how much? About a fourth. A what? About a fourth of a teaspoon. Add a fourth of a teaspoon of ground cloves to the cream and chicken broth. Put half of the sunchokes on the potatoes while we're bringing the sauce up to a simmer. Then we'll pour the sauce on the sunchokes and potatoes and then add the remainder. Add the remainder then after that. Add salt. A little thyme. You're gonna have this on the floor. Aren't you? Pour the remainder of the sauce on the casserole. With the cream. What is that, cream? Just top with cream. Top with cream. This is just plain cream. Yeah, it's mixed with chicken's broth. Bake in the oven. Hold on a minute. 20 minutes, then reduce the heat to 400. It's on 500 right now. All right, preheat the oven to 500 degrees, bake uncovered for 20 minutes, then reduce the heat to 400 degrees Fahrenheit and cook for 35 minutes or until fork tender. Rest at room temperature before serving.